Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to place new objects on the map. After you have just loaded the simulation, you will have the default scenario that you can see here. Uh, what you can do now is you can load a different scenario. Let's say the small scenario. And you can place new objects on the map. To do this, you go to this unit placement menu and here you will see the different categories of objects that you can place. Let's start with bomber bases. And you have the primary object and the secondary object. So you have to select one of them from the list. And if we click on the map, then one of the primary objects will be placed and 15 of the secondary. So if we now select uh, the objects here, if we hold uh, shift and drag, we will see in our selection the 15 bombers that we have just placed and the bomber base. If we have other units like uh, launch control centers with um, silos, they are usually distributed over an area and you can control the area over which it will be distributed here. Here you see the displayed cost in plutonium of this uh, group that you have selected, uh, but this feature is not completely implemented yet. However, however you can see that uh, after we place the units here, the amount of plutonium for the selected country decreases. Uh, in most cases, there are two uh, units uh, that will be placed on the map, the primary unit and the secondary unit, like with submarines. Uh, but sometimes you only have uh, one unit um, because there is no secondary unit needed or available. Um, if you know the exact position of the object that you're trying to place, let's say a bomber base, uh, you can set it here, well, let's say latitude 50, longitude 0, you press place and the object will be placed at the position that you have entered here. Uh, you can modify the objects that you have placed. Let's say we want to change the position of uh, some of the launch control centers or uh, silos. Uh, we can do it by either, either dragging uh, holding shift and dragging around the objects. Then we have the list and we can select one of them or we can just click on the map and um, holding control and a single object will be selected. Uh, what you can do now is you can uh, set the exact latitude and longitude of this object. Uh, let's say it is latitude 55,0 and you can set it there. You can now see the object is here. Uh, you can change the um, parameters of this object. Let's say you want to change the hardness um, to overpressure and you can change it here. Um, and if you want to uh, remove the object completely, then you press delete. You can also delete complete groups of objects doing this. So this is how you use this feature. Thank you for your attention.